the great lenthal lentil seafloor reef i nearly so badly messed that up the, the lentil the rental reef the the mootsy botsy i don't know whatever the reef is gonna be the next level i go into something scratching my leg oh it's just a loose usb cable that'll do it uh it's from this thing the thing that prints out the pictures the fuji film thing uh my name is brian saviano Hello, that is the love disc, that is Magikarp. Already off to a stellar start here with a couple of better shots of Pokemon, finally. Oh, the apples are in low gravity, of course they are, because why wouldn't they be? With it being uh, underwater, of course the gravity's not gonna impact the same exact way. Why would it be that way, you know what I mean? So the reef obviously hosts a Whole plethora of new Pokemon, because it's under the sea now. Uh, this is a good reminder for people that you should always uh, mind the, the reefs and whatnot. Looks like there's Pokemon living hidden under the seaweed. Uh, uh, well, there's Luminion, first of all. Under the seaweed? Uh, I don't see anything. I just see shadows of Finian. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, good reminder to always mind the reefs because the the great barrier reefs and all that they've been uh, in a little bit of trouble because of pollution and whatnot so if you can do whatever you can to mitigate your uh carbon footprint as you uh as uh, as you would say and save the reefs because unfortunately what happens is when reefs uh, coral reefs and whatnot become um no longer alive they turn white it's called coral bleaching and not that I wanted this to turn into a whole massive, you know, informational deep dive on the way coral reefs work, but that is an actual thing that happens. And obviously this reef is very vibrant. And just so you know, Wilmer, hi, is that coral, like the coral reef is actually alive. It is a living organism. It is not just a, you know, a rock or something. It is a living creature. It's an organism. What is happening to Octillery? Octillery just super went away and... It's just Gonzo. That shark looks like it's cut off. Absolutely looks like it's cut off. Um, but yeah, it is a living organism. So just a, another interesting fun fact for you about the coral reefs and all that. I want to see what this Whalmer, what he's up to, man. He's just looking behind, not really facing any particular way or otherwise. Yeah, a lot of sharks. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I guess I'm going into the the dark cave in case I don't get a better shot of Quillfish over there. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Nothing I can do there. Hey, I haven't said anything's chilling in the past two episodes until that point right there. So at least there's that. Uh, what's also another fun fact about the water and whatnot, that was a perfect shot actually, um, is sound actually travels a lot faster and a lot more clearly underwater. And you can test this for yourself by if you're ever inside of a swimming pool and you have the ability to crack your knuckles. Like if you if you do the thing where you're like, you do that. Um, sorry if that kind of skeeves you out, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt your hands, at least as far as I know. Uh, it never has for me. But if you do that underwater, you'll be able to you'll be able to hear that super super clearly, like exceptionally clearly compared to when you would be um, outside of the water. So that is also another thing there. So technically, all of this sound right here is moving a lot faster and a lot more clearly because it's underwater. So that's cool. Not that they seem to care. I haven't seen this entire, like, musical thing do a single thing this entire time, I think, on any Pokemon except Blossom, which is... Yeah, kind of whatever because Blossom is a musical type Pokemon, you know moves to the rhythm of the music So it's not really all that uh, Special anyways, I don't know It's just Whatever so hey, there we go a couple new Pokemon nothing crazy, but again, that's level one So I'll probably need to do a level two and go back and forth and Do this a bunch of times just like before but luckily with the power of editing I don't need to show you every single little thing that happens every single time you know? So that's good. Gonna go auto on all these just to expedite the process here. 
I don't think I really need to move, but I'm going to stay up here anyways. Love Disk is a brand new Pokemon. That's a two star. One star. Yep. Makes enough sense. Not even the best shot. I got a Love Disk. Posing on that one is a little bit better. Finally, Magikarp in the actual water under the sea. I don't know how that Finian doesn't look any better. That one's not any better. Luminion is the evolution of Finian. Uh, something I actually didn't see in my Pokemon Platinum playthrough at all. I don't think I've seen that Pokemon even once. How is that the Whalmer shot? There's no Whalmer in the shot. But I guess it's a three-star silver. Only half of them is in the shot. And that one's nearly identical. I uh, this game... This game is something else, man. I don't know. That's a perfect shot of Quailfish right there. Not really doing anything, but he's facing the right way. That's a silver. Man, they're getting a little more... Um, a little more critical of these shots as I've been going through. At least that's a, sil uh, a platinum. That's good. Can you help me out at all with something? How many expert research points? I still can't find a good spot here. Level one. All right, cool. Your research will help me with the aluminum orb. Wait, so maybe if I do the other levels more and more, that's what'll trigger the, the orb to happen? All right. Let me go back into the reef, get to level two, see if I miss any Pokemon or new Pokemon appear. I'll do like I did last time, but I will not go through the entirety of it again on camera unless something super spicy happens. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, well, that's one way to go about it. Yep, and <laughs> yep. And now, can I pop him? Can I pop him? Can I pop him? Pop. I want to see him fly. Go. Boy. <laughs> there he goes. Bye. See ya. All right. <laughs> oh, that's probably really cruel. Speaking of cruel. Hey, you. Do you do anything? No. All right. Well, that was all the fun I got for this trial. Okay, so here are my shots of the various Pokemon. I went with a, di a different Whalmer shot because, shot because it's a three-star, and it's an action shot, and I think it works out a lot better. And I think it's also trying to go for, like, the different stars instead of what might be a better shot. So sometimes it's looking for a one-star instead of a two. So it didn't select this one here, even though this one is objectively a lot better. Look at that shot compared to the last one. Night and day difference. So I'd much rather have a new three-star shot that's better than otherwise, you know? So I'll, I guess I'll stick with that one. Octillery. I guess that one's better. I don't understand how. I mean, I kind of do, but... All right, Quillfish, that's a ton better. Look at that one. He's all blown up. He's like... Just like that. There's a Crystal Bloom. Nice. I needed that one for the decks, I think. And that's it. Awesome. What's my level at? I know it's at level two. Of course it is, because I got the Crystal Bloom. There we go. What is that, 120,000? No, I need 58,000 to get to the next one, which is three more runs. Awesome. Now that I have the Crystal Bloom info, now I can actually get to where I want to go with the Crystal Bloom. Nice. Finally. Now I'm hoping I can get this for all the other ones, too. But I think I need to take a picture of the Crystal Bloom as a part of the whole factor for how it ends up becoming a thing. Okay, so for the those islands, it's all pink right there. Cool. So not for the two islands that I had before, but the new one. But for the Maricopia Islands, I can use it. Awesome. So I'm going to go back into the courses now that I have this. So I can go back into here. It doesn't apply there, but it applies over here. So let me go back into the day and see where I can use that and how it affects the gameplay. All right, so here's a Crystal Bloom. Right here, come on. There we go. So that just makes them all bright and shiny. Does it do anything else? Maybe not. Makes them, oh, nice, awesome. Anything else? It doesn't. Do anything else? No? Okay. I guess not. Am 
That's kind of interesting. They were like waving at me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, just like that. Interesting. All right. Uh, where is this thing? Over to here? Yeah, I want to go over toward this way. Why not? Sure. I got some adorable shots of Raichu at the very end right there. And I don't care what the professor says, I'm keeping some of them, because they were very, very adorable. With all the, the eating of the fluffy fruit, it looked really cool. So, there's 57 photos taken. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so there's a whole lot of them there. Look at this shot! Actually, that's a pretty good one. So, that's a three-star one right there. So, that's great. Um... These other ones, the Pikachu one, that's a really good Pikachu. I'm liking a lot of these shots that are happening here. And I think, I think it's a combination of everything. As I'm going through all this, it seems like a massive combination of getting the different stars, you know, getting the illumination orbs, and ranking everything a little bit better each time. I think all that combined is making it work out pretty well. But there is not a whole lot going on there for the illumination orbs, so whatever. The waving... Pukumuku was great. That gold one, I guess, is better as a solo shot. Now, the Raichu one, that's an excellent one. I'm surprised it's not a platinum one. That should have been, with how incredibly good-looking it was, but okay. There's uh, that level two. I'm not going to quite make it, right? Yeah, I got another trial to do. But now I'm going to go into the next area. Uh, not the next area, but the one that was after this one. The Not quite the reef, but the other one. Use the Illumina Orb on there and see how it impacts whatever Pokemon are lurking around there. Okay, so those Squirtle just won't move. But the one Squirtle is hanging out... Oh, wait, right here. What does that do? It just makes you illuminated? It does nothing else? Really? Hey, buddy. Why do you look so sad? Stop being sad. I love you. I love the Squirtle. You're awesome. What about in here? Anything? Does that change anything? No? So the Magikarp only appears if you toss an apple in, right? Just about. Wow. All right. I guess this uh, Magikarp doesn't care about the, the, the beams. The thing. Come on. Right here. Yep. Come on. Anything? Aim the thing. Why can't I aim? Why can't I aim? Go oh, mama mia. Really? Well, there was nothing quite there anyways. But man, oh man, all right. Here's a Wingo. There we go. Oh, he was really active right there. That was a pretty good one. All right. Can I get any of these? Actually, the Whale Lord. That might be some bonus points right there. Nice, big boy. My Switch Pro Controller is finally starting to run out of battery, so I got to replace that soon. Got. I've been playing too much Pokemon Snap, which actually isn't even necessarily the case because the Switch Pro Controller battery lasts like 7,000 years. So it must have just been that I haven't charged it up from before. But I'm kind of running dry on um, what other Pokemon I need to get right now. So it's a good time, I guess, to take a break, which is always important to do is to take a break, see what comes next, you know? It's always a good time. All right, I don't know what I needed to do there, but yeah. Uh, there, there were a lot of spots that were not very obvious, and I think because the environment is so colorful, I couldn't figure out where I needed to throw the, the thing. And even doing a scan, there's so much color that, like, the outline of the green when you get the color right, and it was just a whole, a whole thing. Uh, any of these shots that I absolutely love, this Squirtle, so the other Squirtle didn't move when I hit them with the fluffy fruit. They just kind of sat there. So that one Squirtle that kind of shoots off to be on his own little island there. There's only so much I can do for the poor guy, but I couldn't quite get it working right. I guess that's a three-star. Wingle, that's the first two-star. Cool. Waylord, that's a three-star. Awesome. Pelipper, that's a solid one-star, but not quite there. Machamp, that's a not-as-good one-star. Mantine, uh, not even close to being better. Pukumuku, not better. I thought them waving at me would have been great. That's a platinum three star on that one. All right. I'll keep that Corsola one, and that's about it. Now, I wonder, because I haven't gotten to level three on any of these, right? No, I'm going to be close with this one, but not quite. Oh my goodness, really? Oh, 
let me go through this level again to get to level three to see if it impacts it any differently. I don't think it will, but I want to do some science. Wait, so that Squirtle was blowing bubbles. Look at him. Now he's happy. Wait, so does this Squirtle... Oh, wait. Wait, now he's happy. What happened? There's more Squirtle. That's awesome. Wait. So there's that. Look at him. He's very happy. The tides have turned. And he's not happy anymore. Wait, oh, is that because the shark is chasing him? Oh, is it like a coughing and... Uh, Jigglypuff situation? Oh, that must be it. Oh, that totally must be it. Oh, that's why. Uh, oh. Okay. Squirtle! Got him. Stop being a bully. You, hey. Stop it. No need to be a massive pain in the butt. Well, that was a little bit better. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna retry the course. I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna stop that that thing, the shark, from getting to that Squirtle. Because I don't want him to get hurt, all right? So I gotta be on the lookout here. So this Squirtle is hanging out over here. This one, I think, is the issue. I think, I think that's him. What on earth? What? What just happened? What? Whoa, what? Okay, 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 that's not kosher. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't need to do that. Come on. Don't. Don't. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop attacking the Squirtle. Stop it. Stop it, you bully. Come on. Stop it. That doesn't stop anything, really? I know. I, I don't know what to do. I thought that would have changed the whole thing. Look, they're all so mad. They're all so incredibly disappointed that the shark is chasing after them. But I couldn't do anything about it. Dumb shark. Like, okay. Sure. There seems to be something big inside the whirlpool. Like, big? You mean Magikarp? Wait, you can change the direction in which you go. Because normally I go over toward the left side. But now I'm toward the right side. And I get a better picture of Wailord over toward this way. This game is so weird with how they do things. Because normally, yeah, I go over toward that way. There is not a clear path on what to do, on where to go, at all. That is... weird. Alright, so I discovered that Sharpedo is the root of all evil with this course, and there must be some way to stop Sharpedo. Now, it's either through repeated shots of going through the course, seeing if something changes, but there's nothing, no apples could have stopped it, nothing. So that is uh, not great. Now, this one I do not want. Which one do I want? There's one of these shots right here, this one. It's just a very cute looking shot. Uh, Squirtle, I feel like I've done better, but I guess I didn't for this time. Wingle, I don't know what on earth is going on here, dude. I don't know what sort of scandalous thing is going on, but... You know, man? Alright. I guess that one... That's the one. Alright, otherwise I'm gonna trust in the powers of the mirror. And yep. That's, that's a scandalous Finian one right there. And, and I guess that one is not better than the overall shot. The pose is a thousand. That's a four-star crystal one right there. Not going to get a better shot of Wingle in the game. That's for sure. I'm going to keep that one because he's, he's sad, but he's also, you know, I don't know. Solo there. That's not even close to being better. Mantine, even with multiple, still doesn't quite do the job. Pelipper, I like that one a lot more. Good. Although, it looks like the, he's eating the Pukumuku there. It's not quite. That one's nowhere near as good. And that's it. So, now with the level 3 research, I think this is the first time I've gotten to a level 3 in the game. No, it's the second time. Yeah, second time. So, we'll see how level 3 is impacted next time there. Um, and making the breakthrough. And I have to complete level 3 also. So, alright. I'll see what it looks like in the next episode. And then we'll visit... 
a couple other areas as well because i feel like we're getting close to a new area and finding more about the illumination orbs at least for where we're at right now so i want to thank you for listening watching tuning in and meowing out with me as always i'll see you again for more new pokemon snap very soon otherwise have yourself a great day i'm gonna charge my battery and call it an episode all right peace Thank you.